In this tutorial I'll explain how to draw a ggplot2 legend without showing the plot using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data and if you click on this data frame a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame and as you can see our data contains five rows and three columns which are called x, y and group and the two columns x and y contain numeric values and the grouping column contains a group indicator. So if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 6 and 7. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot and geompoint as you can see in lines 9 and 10. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of our studio by running line 11 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see that we have created a ggplot2 scatter plot. And you can see that our legend is shown on the right side of this plot. So let's assume that we want to remove the plot itself, but we want to show only the legend of this plot. Then we need to install and load three different packages, which are called grid, grid extra, and cowplot. So in order to install and load these packages, you can run lines 13 to 20 of the code. I have installed the packages already, so for that reason I'm just going to load them with line 14, line 17, and line 20 of the code and after running these lines of code we can apply the get legend function as you can see in line 22 and within the get legend function we simply need to specify the name of our plot object which is called ggp in our example and then we need to store the output of this in a new data object which is called in this case ggp legend. So if you run line 22 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object is appearing, which is called ggp legend. And now we can draw this legend without showing the plot by running lines 24 and 25. So if we run line 24 of the code, an empty plot is shown at the bottom right. And by running line 25 of the code, our legend is added to this empty plot without showing the actual plotting area of our graphic. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.